Welcome RGC. Um, today we're just going to do another tutorial. I'm going to be covering um, save games, basically how to transfer information from an old save to a new save and um, why Right, you want to do that. If you want to start fresh, that's great. Start over. But a lot of times whenever I update my map, people ask me, hey, I, I've been working on this map for three months. I don't want to lose it. Um, <laughs> do I have to start over? And there's ways that you can bring a lot of your information over from your old save to your new save so you're not going to lose a lot of your career. Um, I always will recommend that you start a new save, but it doesn't mean that you know you can lose information right you have to start a new save though right you want to go into the new map go in start a new save and save it once you save it you're going to go back out um from the game and then go into the, the save games directories of the files and then you can transfer over information i'm going to show you what to transfer over and the reasons why you want to transfer over some things and not everything right um just going to cover right now the main reason why you need to start a new save um, whenever I do updates to maps and I say it needs a new save um, typically after three months or so after I do official release I will do an update because I'm constantly working on my maps um, I get to a good point where I do an official release and then I usually time it out for another three months I'll work on a map and then I'll do another official release that's just how I've pretty much done it from, from the start um, I'm always working on the, the same maps, uh, making them better. I have new ideas from you guys, the community. I got ideas that I come up with, and I'm constantly working on making it better overall. Um, I just don't want you guys to lose completely all of your save game as you continue on through all the updates. Um, so, number one thing that you really typically can't bring over is your terrain um, density, height, your map density, height, whatever, of the map, because a lot of times I'm changing the train, especially on this um, back country that we're going on to now for an update we're still testing, obviously. There's a lot of terrain changes, so in order to see those terrain changes, you need to have um, the, the terrain from the map. When you save the game, you save the terrain, it rewrites the terrain so every time you start that new save to continue it that terrain will that's the way it's going to be so if you have the same map and you use your old save terrain you won't see the changes from the what i've done to the map if that makes sense so you can't really bring over your 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 terrain changes your foliage your ground foliage and things like that typically you cannot bring that over either because i'm repainting areas like these rocks that you see here in this little stream um, that's that's actually a foliage that doesn't sound like it right it's rocks but that's a paintable foliage that I've made so I can paint rocks <laughs> instead of grass basically in the streams and things like that so if you want to see those you can't use your old foliage from the save because it won't be there um, so yeah those two are basically the number um, the biggest things that you you don't want to bring over from your old save. You're going to have to deal with that. So you may have might have done a lot of landscaping, the landscape tool, changing, making roads and, and stuff. And you're going to have to redo a lot of that. Um, but you can bring your money over, your vehicles, uh, your, you know, information and your career. Um, a lot of things I'm going to show you. So you're not going to lose everything, but you have to sacrifice a little bit. If that makes sense. So let's get to it. Um, so where to find this, right? It's in your documents. So go to your where your documents folder is located. You're gonna go to your my games, and then into Farm Sim 22, and here's your save games here. Um, we're just gonna open up an old save that I've had. This is for our server that we we ran. We had over. I can't remember thousands of minutes in here. It's been going on for a couple months now. Um, just gonna go down through <clears throat> and show you what what things are. This is all auto drive stuff. Don't need to worry about that. That's a mod that 
sets pass for auto drive you create a save game so this is the first thing you want to open up and take a look at um, in your career save a lot of this information up here you don't need to transfer over so what I recommend with this is just to copy um, over your money you see it says six down here it tells you how much money you had in your playtime you don't need to worry about your playtime either you can start over with that that's not a big deal um, so yeah so, it should, so all you're going to do is just copy that over to your other save game So I'm just going to copy here, control C. All right, so I'm going to go back into documents. I'm open up a new folder here so it's easier to transfer over and, and open up stuff. So my games, farm 22, save game three is what I'm working on here. All right, so that's, I've already done a little bit of this transferring stuff. So, but anyway, career save game. We're just gonna go down here, delete the money, and paste it in. It should be the same, I think. No, actually, it's a little less. Um, so just like that, and hit save. So there, you got your money transferred over from your old save. Course play, don't need to worry about that. Density map fruit. So this right here is basically all your foliage in the map. You can bring that over, but the issue is. A lot of the changes I've done with a new mountain range is you're not going to see where those foliages are. So typically you can't. You can, but you can't. <laughs> that makes any sense. Um, so don't worry about density map growth states. Density map ground. You can bring this over. So this is a big one right here. Your density map ground basically is where you plowed and reworked the ground. That obviously takes a lot of time, right? To re plow in all your land that you've you've um, discovered and cleared so that's i recommend you bring that over density map ground good one keep in mind that your foliage hasn't been brought over so all the grass and all the weeds and things that i paint in your meadows and all that is going to be in it right you're going to have your plow state but there's going to be all that grass is in there that's not horrible right you just all you gotta read we do is just re plow it or re um, treat your your fields um, using course play or, or whatever it's great for these large maps really recommend it um, so you may not even need to bring this over because you got course play the courses are already set and when you start the new map you can just redo the courses replow in the fields um, I am going to recommend you um, to bring over this to save you some time because again you still gonna have to replow it but when you're on a server while you're plowing you have to be in a vehicle uh, while it's plowing it's, it's, it's weird uh, if you guys play on servers you probably know what I'm talking about so basically while you're plowing it won't update the ground if you're not if you're away from the vehicle it's hard to explain exactly, but if, if you're in the vehicle, you can see the plowing state. If you jump out and you go away from it while it's course play is working and plowing into new land, you come back, it won't show it being plowed. It's a weird thing that happens with servers. So instead of sitting in a vehicle for 10 hours plowing all these new fields in, bring over this ground GDM. All the land will be plowed. You just can't have to replow it. But since um, it's the terrain has already been changed you just can be plowing all the grasses and stuff i know i'm talking a lot but i hope i can make this make sense for you bring this over you're going to see all the, the grasses in the plowed area but it will save you time because you don't have to be in the tractor while you're you're um, updating it that makes sense so ground gdm boom density map height no stones sure i guess but i don't i turn stones off but if you want the stones to show up in your fields bring that one over weeds same thing um density map height xml don't want that um destructible map object system so that's platinum platinum stuff um, we're not going to mess with that easy dev controls that's your controls for easy dev um, if you want to 
bring over that you can it's just the settings that you set up for your productions and things like that you may have changed the amount of cost it is for distributing and whatnot economy you can bring that over if you would like it just kind of updates from where you were what that happened from your uh demands and things like that so i don't mess with that it's not that big of a deal uh farmlands yes boom bring over farmlands that's all the land that you purchased will be updated so you don't have to rebuy your land um, farms is a good one to bring over because if you're playing a multiplayer there's multiple farms those will all be recreated uh, all your info layers uh, can be brought over spray levels and stuff so if you've done lime and all that don't have to redo it tip collisions don't need that one weed stubble strip yeah tip collisions yeah, don't want to bring that one over. Placement collisions. Yeah, I don't want that one either. So lime, plow, roller, spray, stubble, weed. This is... Don't want this one because a lot of uh, the trees and stuff that have been added will have a collision. And if you bring that over, it won't show it there. Um, items. Not going to worry about that right now. Missions, don't worry. Uh, placeables. So we're not going to bring over placeables. That's a big, big one for a lot of people who want to bring all their placeables. This is where it kind of hurts with a new save, but it's not, it's not horrible. Um, reasons why you can't bring over placeables is because I've, I've changed the terrain, and we're not using the old terrain, um, the density map height. And when you bring a placeable, it levels the ground, so all your placeables won't be level. The ground to be going into them. If you bring them over, so you're gonna have to replace all your placeables. Uh, players will bring players over. Uh, maintenance, don't need to worry about that one. It's just the settings for the mod, uh, the maintenance mod. Revamp, same deal, just a mod. Uh, sales, snow state, don't need to worry about that. Store deliveries, changes, don't need to worry about that. This is your terrain cache and stuff. You don't want that over. You want to use the updated map terrain stuff. Trees. Don't want to touch those. Vehicles. Weed grow state. Not a big deal. Don't need that. Um, if you do use a lot of weeds, you can bring that over. I don't use weeds. Same thing here. I don't usually touch the weed here, but if you like weeds, bring those over. All right. So, yeah, we're just going to copy this oops yeah <laughs> i was grabbing it from save game 3 which is again i've already done this in the past i just want to show you guys the biggest thing that you want to be moving but yeah you want to paste it into the, the new save that you got replace the files and destination just like that that's it All right now you're going to start up your your map your new save game and go from there. I'm going to show you guys kind of how it's going to be. But you got your money, you got your vehicles, you got everything, a lot of your work that you've done. Um, you're going to have to replow in your fields, you're going to have to clear a lot of trees and things to get back. So you're spending probably a day getting your yourself cleaned up so to speak but you're not spending a month and a half two months of work to get where you're at right so I'm just going to start this up with a save game right and then I'll start it up without all the work so you can see kind of the differences and I'll show you what, show you what I mean um, with the, the plowed areas and stuff and why it's a pain in the butt with servers <laughs> so I know I talked a lot about it earlier and it probably confused the hell out of you but again, it's hard one of those hard things to explain And um, with the placeables, 
I understand that's that's probably the biggest disappointment, right? With starting a new save, is yeah, you're gonna lose all your placeables. Um, what I recommend you doing is with the dev tools, um, give yourself some money. I'll show you how to run that real quick. Just give yourself like five million, place all your placeables back where where, you, where they were. You might have to clear trees and clear some things before you do it anyway. So that's not a good reason why you don't want to add your placeables back right off. Um, so clear all your trees out of where they are, where they where they were, and t do your terrain work. <laughs> so yeah, you can see that with all the terrain changes, all these trucks and all these vehicles are going to be in some weird places. You're going to have to grab them all and bring them back to where you can see the lime state in this field here. But um, the foliage, obviously I didn't bring over because I redid a lot of the foliage. So you're going to have to replow in all these fields. You're going to have to remove all the trees first anyway. So that's the first thing you probably want to do if you're trying to bring back an old save. But you can see, like, this has all been brought back. I don't have to worry about plowing all these new fields in. All my vehicles are all there. All my tools, everything. I got my money, 32 million from our career. Um, it was all good. Um, all this new land has all been added in, right? I can see that still. I'm just gonna fly over there real quick. If I was to bring the terrain over from the old terrain over to New Save, you wouldn't see all that stuff. So the biggest thing with this back country here was the trees, right? I've I've added in. Well, that's gonna be an issue there. I added in a pond, uh, this this lake here. So the plowed area is going into the lake. <laughs> it's not really that big of an issue. Not that big of an issue. You can use a landscaping tool and um, fill in the lake, right? You could just re redo that like that. It's not a huge deal. Again, I don't typically bring over a lot of the, uh, the, cause the course play, I can just redo it. It takes a lot of time though. All right, so where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Vehicles. Vehicles everywhere. But this is a big one though. Um, adding in this whole lake here. Cause we did a lot of fields in this area. So if I get down low, so you can see these fields are in the middle of the lake. Let's just do a quick test here. Okay, that's what I thought. As I'm raising the land up, it's deleting the uh, the ground. So that's an issue there for for what we got, right? Um, if you want to keep this lake the way it is, um, I wouldn't bring over the ground. That ground uh, GDM, so. Yeah. So every everybody's save is gonna be different, but uh, basically just want to show you guys that you can uh, save yourself a lot of hassle. Uh, I like to just restart anyway, you know. But uh, so all this new mountain range over here. That's why I do the big updates every three months. I think three months of work. A lot of times you want to start fresh and. Uh, get going with a new new save and see what you see what you can do differently basically 
So yeah, you wouldn't be able to see this terrain if you brought over that terrain. But yeah, I really hope um, this helps you out. Um, so just remember, if, whenever I do update in the future, um, that, that you don't. If I tell you you need a new save, you may not lose everything. All right, I know it gets frustrating that you get to redo all placeables, a lot of these trees. This is dramatic. Um, it's not going to typically my updates are not this dramatic. I'm working on a new map here with the back country. Um, this map was designed mainly for myself. I'm trying to push to limits of trees. There's 250 uh, plus trees, 255 or whatever, 255,000 trees in this map right here. We're doing some testing on the servers right now and we are pushing it to the limits. Uh, basically, the old backcountry, we were running right around 0.7 gigs of RAM. We're up to 3 gigs of RAM. <laughs> running it right now uh, so it's a big jump in performance that you would need to run this map on the server but um, it's worth it for how realistic these uh, the backcountry really is this is how I like it how I want it very remote um, you get to clear trees in order to, to do anything uh, so keep that in mind in the future when I do updates I'm not going to be doing this dramatic amount of trees and I got to clear out 10,000 trees in order to you to get your fields back um, most likely I won't be adding any more trees ever again <laughs> right there's already 250,000 of them on here so the trees won't be an issue anymore the terrain in May I may add in some more areas for terrain that's always going to be an issue uh, whenever I do updates uh, that will need a new save uh, just keep that in mind um, I hope this helps you guys uh to continue your careers whenever i do updates and hope you learn something from this remember uh keep it real and i'll see you guys on the next one